Whoops. All right, dear Capricorn. I mean, hey everybody, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and these horoscopes right here, right now, are specifically Capricorn for the week of April 2nd to April 6th, 2018, that are right for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. Here we go. Let's put Capricorn on the ascendant right there. Let's back it up a couple of days. All right. Just to let you guys know, as I'm getting everything ready, we have a, we have an, I had an Easter special, and I did it for all of the Sunny Siders, everyone who's subscribed to, everyone who joined our Facebook group, and to everyone who takes, you know, watches the live streams. But it was so successful, you know, everybody loved it. So I'm gonna offer it to everybody here in the weekly video, and um, you know, SLC. My girlfriend who manages the business here on the channel, she wanted me to do something nice for everybody. So, so I'm handing out my special Sunnyside report, that uh, Sunnyside Astro report that I usually only give as part of my readings, my personal readings that are $229. And um, but the report comes along with it. And I'm blowing it all out for Easter for you guys. She said, give it to everybody. So I'm like, okay, I'll give it to everybody. And it's only $20 for this week. And I've never offered it for sale before, but I'm doing it right now. And in the report, you get how you approach life and how you approach others. Chapter 2 is your real motivations, the inner you. Chapter 3 is your mental interests and abilities, your cognitive you know, perceptions and awareness, your spectrum of comprehension, so to speak. Chapter 4 is romance, you know, how you approach love, how love arrives. Chap you know, how you find love. How love finds you. Chapter five is your inner, how you achieve your goals, your drives and ambitions. And chapter six is other motivations. In addition to all of that, uh, in addition to all of that, she's like, all right, that's cool. What else you got? Okay, well, there's a, sp a special gift that I have for you guys as well. Uh, for anyone who orders it, there's more information in the description box below. So check it out. And the special gift is something that, uh, you know, you have to be a special type of astrologer to to have this information and I have it and I'm giving it to everybody here and most people super love it and that's the action all right let's get down to the horoscopes dear Capricorn take a break for a couple of days and get your mojo back really why would I say that Capricorn oh because all right dear Capricorn take a break for a couple of days and get your mojos back love is waiting but you still have to be in the mood loves move love moves to the next level let me do this English thing again. Dear Capricorn, take a break for a couple of days and get your mojo back. Love is waiting, but you still have to be in the mood. Love moves to the next level. All right, Capricorn, what's going on? First things first, the spotlight is here on your home. Something is happening with Cap Capricorns at home, right? And Capricorns need a break. <laughs> the... Mercury is retrograde at home, so stuff with the family. You know, you might be arguing with your family. Your family might be nagging you to do the same stuff over and over and over again. Or old problems with the homes are coming back. Good stuff can be coming back as well. But it's all about revisiting themes and ideas, you know, as it pertains to the home. This is Capricorn's home life right here. Now, here's the negative stuff that we've been talking about for a while. Capricorns are aggressive and they're grouchy. Woo! Capricorns, you guys are starting fights. So be calm, you know, be calm down. You're in everybody's face for some reason. Capricorn is like the most chill sign. But Capricorn is like arguing with everybody for some reason. So Cap, super calm down. Uh, you know, or use the energy. The energy is there. You are aggressive anyways right now. So get out, you know, so be aggressive. Just watch out for stuff that's happening at home. Now, the week starts with you wanting to you know, hang with your friends, right? So, like, make the phone call, talk to everybody, get out there, be happy, you know? As the week progresses, you're going to get nostalgic and you're going to be thinking about the past and you want to visit things from the past. Okay, so that's what the action is. But here's the real deal. Venus is in this right here in Taurus, and this is Capricorn's astro sector of kids. So Capricorns are going to be super romantic right now. Capricorn's going to be... Uh, People are going to be proposing to Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn is going to be going out on dates right now. And Capricorns are getting pregnant right now. And Capricorns are having babies. This is a great time to uh, 
for having kids, making kids, being romantic, being playful, the whole deal. That's where Capricorn is attracting right now. And that's the action. Scorpio is attracting partners, right? You see that? Capricorn is attracting romance. And that's the deal with it right now. And that's the action, Capricorn. <laughs> and if you have any more questions, you know, tune into the live stream and ask away. What else is going on? It's Capricorn. Okay, so once again, if you're interested in the special report, the email, spe the Easter special, it's down below. Dear Capricorn, take a break for a couple of days and get your mojo back. Love is waiting, but you still have to be in the mood. Anyways, love moves to the next level, and that's right here. Love is up in the game. It's baby time, Capricorn, and that's the action. From the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing all Capricorns the absolute best of a super beautiful week. And I'll see you guys soon.